Knowing the right time to leave anywhere is a skill everyone should have. Whether it's a party, a friend's house or your footballing career, it's important that we know when to say goodbye. And as far as football is concerned, there are some guys that just need to say goodbye already. These are 10 footballers who should just retire already. And number one on this list is Lionel Messi. He's the undisputed GOAT and we feel like he has the chance to have the greatest exit from football ever. He completed football by winning the World Cup with Argentina in 2022. So there's really nothing left for him to achieve in the sport anymore. And when you've done it all, you begin to lose motivation to do better at what you've been doing for years. If the call was ours to make, we'd recommend that Messi return to Barcelona for one last dance and retire at the end of the season. And that's just because he'll have a more befitting farewell at the Camp Nou than anywhere else in the world. Also, by that time, he would have become the player with the most trophies won in football history. It would just be the perfect time to call it quits. Surely, it will be a very emotional day whenever Messi retires from football. But it's a day that we should all have been preparing for for some time now. And wouldn't it just be poetic if the two goats synchronise their retirement so we can all feel the emotions once and for all? Yes, we're saying Cristiano Ronaldo should also retire already. Let's face it, CR7's no longer the man he used to be. He's still the GOAT, no doubt, but all that messy drama he was involved with at United did no good for his legacy at all. Also, he was dropped to the bench at United, dropped to the bench in the national team, and top teams in Europe reportedly didn't want to touch it. Honestly, we think Ronaldo needs to just retire so things don't get uglier than they currently are. As for Zlatan Ibrahimovic, we don't get what he's still trying to prove at this point. His place as one of the greatest strikers ever can never be in question. And he's one of the very few who've been able to do it until their 40s. He's the oldest goalscorer in Serie A history and one of the most decorated players in the history of the sport. So there's nothing left to prove. He just needs to listen to his body and call it quits already. These days, Zlatan spends more time in the hospital than on the pitch, and the truth is that he's actually not helping AC Milan so much anymore. The club appears to have moved past him. For us, the Swede should have retired after he historically helped Milan win the Serie A again after 11 years. That would have just been the best time. The next best time is at the end of the current season. And he should do that with his fellow quadragenarian, Jean-Luigi Buffon. Gigi has already established himself as one of the GOAT goalkeepers, definitely top three. And his longevity is something that won't be matched for decades to come. But we think that it's finally time to say goodbye. We love the fact that he's gone full circle by going back to Parma where it all started for him. And it'd be really beautiful if he hangs up his gloves there after giving them two good seasons in the Serie B. Surely, the move to Parma was purely sentimental. He's surely not looking to achieve anything more, so it's not a bad time to say goodbye. The guy is about four years away from 50. Surely, he doesn't plan to still be playing professional football as a granddad, does he? But it's not only the older guys who should retire. We think Eden Hazard should hang his boots up already. The Belgian is no longer that guy. And we honestly don't think he can go back to being that guy anymore. He's fallen off so bad. Having recently retired from international football, we're sure he's aware of his seemingly irredeemable form, so we're hoping he can say goodbye to professional football as a whole before his entire reputation is completely ruined. It would be nice if he could return to Chelsea for one last dance before he says goodbye, but not everyone can get that fantasy ending. What's important is for him to accept that football has moved past him, and he will have to just take a bow. Also, he's won all there is to win in club football. There's really no incentive to keep going, especially when you know that you're now a shadow of your former self. There's no one person that that phrase describes better than Deli Ali. The lad really went from being the most valuable English youngster to being a reject at different clubs. Deli Ali's decline is one of the craziest things we've seen in football in recent times, and we really don't see a way back for him. That's why, although he's still just 27, we think he needs to just retire. He could maybe consider going into football punditry, coaching, or even modelling, but we really don't see how Deli Ali can revive his career as a professional footballer. Sergio Ramos, however, doesn't need to revive his career. No matter what he does now, he'll still be remembered as one of the greatest defenders of all time. 
On top of that, he is one of those very few players who have won it all, both at club and international level. Because of his status as one of the GOAT defenders, we think he should not be dealing with the mess at PSG. He doesn't even have to. Just go back to Sevilla and retire there. But then, the World Cup winner announced his retirement from international football in February of this year. So perhaps he's also considering saying goodbye to club football soon. And wouldn't it just be nice if Ramos announced his retirement alongside his partner in crime Pepe? The pair terrorised attackers for so long at Real Madrid and during that period, they established themselves as the all-time greats. Pepe has already given us his full circle moment by returning to Porto in 2019 and saying goodbye at the age of 40 after four years in your second stint at your old club sounds just perfect. The Portuguese legend should definitely go for it. Now, one person we think is already thinking of going for it is Giorgio Chiellini. After almost 20 years at Juventus, Chiellini finally left Italy and went to the United States to join MLS club LAFC. And we know what it almost always means when players move from Europe to the MLS. His former teammate Gonzalo Higuain moved from Juventus to the MLS in 2020. He retired last year. Gareth Bale moved to LAFC the same time Chiellini did and he retired this year. So who knows, we might just hear the big news coming from the great Italian centre-back anytime soon. But for James Milner, honestly, we don't think it's coming anytime soon. The veteran midfielder will be leaving Liverpool for sure at the end of the season, but he's already agreed to join Brighton in the summer. So he might be looking to spend a couple more seasons there, even though his body might be asking him to stop now. But to be fair to him, we understand why he may want to keep going a little longer. He is so close to the all-time appearance record in the Premier League, so he's probably hoping to break it before he hangs up his boots. Anyway, those are 10 players we think should retire already. Now get in the comments and leave a note for a player that you think should call it quits already. Get creative with it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.